Hello, and welcome to King Pasha's Garage, where we look at probably something you guys will never ask for, and if you were thinking about it, well then you're in luck. Today we're looking at my S1 867 uh, Renault uh, Megan, or Megane. Megane is what they say on Google Translate. Megane. Megane. So, you know, I don't want to, you know, mess that up. Megane. R26R. Let's get right into it. Let me show you guys the share code of this thing. It's a little different. Uh, 173, 419, 373. Get it? Copied it down? Good. Let's let's continue on with this strange uh, car and why did I make it? So it's got a drift uh, suspension, snow tire compound, it's all-wheel drive, it's got 668 horsepower and everything else is failed, so let's get into that. Fun, uh, fun vehicle. It's very uh, stylish, as you can tell. Um, it, it originally came with red rims, but I decided to put my TC-105 ends on there, and uh, that all went away. It's got the Turbo Rally engine in there, all-wheel drive. It's come stock with front-wheel drive. I will get to a front-wheel drive race car eventually to give me time. It's got a stock front bumper and uh, stock in the rear. If you did the rear, that's what the rear would look like. If you did the front... That's what the front would look like. Ooh, exciting, right? Here you got snow tire compound. Stock in the front. Stock in the back for all that maximum drift possibilities. Like I said, it does come stock with uh, red rims. They do look good, but I was able to save more weight by putting the uh, TC-105 ends on there. If they were the same weight, I would have ran the red rims, just to let you know. 18-inch rims in the front, 18-inch rims in the rear. It is maxed out track width in the front and also the rear. Here you got a stock transmission like a six-speed. Race drive line in a drift differential. You got race brakes, so then you can stop, because stopping is important. You got drift springs and dampers, just to drop that thing as low to the ground as possible. You got inside roll bars that look pretty. And then you can throw some stickers on there for whatever company you want to run. Then you got the race rate reduction, so you basically... I really don't know what they did for the race reduction, because honestly nothing ever happens. Um, so somehow they saved 222 pounds somewhere. I'd like to know where. And then you got everything here full raced. All the way through. Everything maxed out to get 867 S1. Alright, let's go to the tune. Alright, you got 55, 55. Okay, here's your gearing. Everything's relatively close to each other, especially when you start getting into like fourth, fifth, and sixth. All right, then you got negative one point four, negative one point four, five zero, four two, and seven zero. Then you got twenty and twenty. Then you got three zero five in the front, and then you got two fifty six point zero in the back. Don't ask me why I did it. I decided to say, hey, why not? Let's do something different here. And then I brought the front end to counterbalance the rear to get them to be close to each other. All right, because that, that's a huge drop. Um, you know, it's down 5'3". Uh, I decided to get it up there as far close to this 6.7 as I could. Dampening's also a little weird. Um, I did two, five, one, and three. I'm trying other tunes. I'm trying different adjustments to see what I can pull out of these vehicles. Uh, braking has left its stock, uh, 50 and 100. And then my differential is, I think my differential I took from the, uh, um, I took bits and pieces from the, the Mustang Mach 1. So I did 100, 100. And I did 86, 76. I think that was flipped around. So I, I'm, I'm, like I said, trying new things. 
and 71% going to the rear. No, because I was just showing the illustration of the springs. It all goes back to normal. Here's your cool things here. You do have a, a drift tap score, um, and that's about it. There's nothing else here. I mean, hey, it's a, it's a Renault, you know? It's a weird looking car. I think, uh, didn't the, uh, um, Clarkson and, and all the other guys just do a video on this thing, the, the Grand Tour on the Renaults? I believe so. Either way, this thing's wild. Um, you can tell I don't have to tap the wall for good luck over there. Uh, looks like we got a storm coming in. But yeah, this thing's fun. It's, it's, it's quirky, it's fun, it's different. The rear end is just weird looking. The third gear seems to be primed, um, and it works. Um, with the soft uh, dampening, this thing really does drift. Um, and it has very little bounce uh, to the rear. It happens every once in a while, um, but it, 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 she's a slider. Yeah, absolute blast the drift and just have fun with it. So if you're the one looking for this car, I hope you enjoy this tune. Um, and uh, it gives you smiles all over. Because I know a lot of people out there do run uh, Renault. So, yeah, I, I need to get to um, tuning more um, Renaults in the future for you guys. But this is the uh, this is what I got for you uh, as of right now. Um, yeah, so there's that. Uh, the other Renault, um, I did make another one. Also, it's a you know I have two of them. Um, this one's an A800. Uh, this is an easy all-wheel drive drift build, 500 horsepower. Um, I'm not showing that right now. Uh, this is a drift build. Um, also for the for this one, the Gordini, I believe that's how you say it. Don't want to mess things up. I still need to do the uh, Cleo Williams. I still need to do the Turbo Five. Um, this side, this is definitely drifting. Look at the tires. That's definitely drifting. Is it shared? I don't know. Um, I uh, have this thing front wheel drive. This is uh, this is what I'm working on for a front wheel drive uh, race car uh, It handles phenomenally phenomenally um, So I'll be sharing that soon um, The 500 this uh, this other one here This is my uh, I'll show you the share code for this one uh, if you're watching so far um, It's got heavier rims on it. It's a completely different animal um, it was just so I could get uh, all that power, uh, well, 500 horsepower out of that one, at least. Um, it said King Posh. There it is. And that one, uh, a little different. Uh, it's an A-Class. It's only got a top speed of 125.5. Um, I don't expect it to be used very much. Uh, there's the share code, at least, for it. Um, and I made this thing at 11.28.21, so quite a, a long time ago um i'd like to even just see what i did for the tuning and then just compare it right to the other one you know um pretty close to each other um to be exact uh, it's got a straight build on it um 2.1 is straight build uh 2020 haven't really changed that much uh springs are complete different they're on the stiff side um, and then it's also low and, and low as you go for both front and rear and then dampening look at that completely different uh, 1 1 20 20 uh, There is downforce on this thing just to get as much power out as possible. So it's 149 There is no brakes in this one. So my other one's a lot better um, And then yeah, you know, 76 86 97 97 with 71 percent going to the rear uh, on that thing um, You know, I I use the stock engine on this one I know that uh, and it was the max power I could push out of the stock engine and it's all-wheel drive of course um, like I said the front 
it's just got a non-adjustable in the front but uh, an adjustable in the rear as you can tell if i took the stock rear wing off it would go to an s1 um so you know i was messing around trying to get the best out of this thing uh still got snow tire compound on it uh thin thin i'm not going through everything um i'm just going through the basics here like i said i have the heavier rims on there to get the max power uh 18s in the front 18s in the rear uh maxed out in the front maxed out in the rear uh other things we already know all the engines there so it's got stock brakes anything higher as you can tell goes up to an s1 even s101 you know uh you know 801 or whatever you want to call it uh drift springs it's got anti-roll bars for both the front and the rear that's always a nice uh stock rate reduction um so you know uh, we're not saving the 222 pounds wherever it comes from it's got a stock transmission race drive line and a stock differential it doesn't even have uh, a drift differential in there uh, even though it'd be green um, I didn't have it in there uh, there's there's that uh, like I said it's an old tune you know I'm I'm been improving and as you know all this is fully upgraded all the way down to uh, this to a sport flywheel um, so you know just trying to get a race flywheel goes to an s1 uh, but as you can tell everything here is just full raced all the way out um, so there's everything in there let's take this thing outside to see what it's like I don't remember it's been it's been forever since I I've seen this uh, this tune like when I first made the car I I, I went to share and I'm like I made another one of these I didn't even realize it I, I, so it was it was crazy I didn't look I just you know just assumed and you know what happens when you assume and that's what, that's exactly what happened um, and I uh, I didn't know I honestly have so many far better a classes out there I, I wouldn't take this one uh, but hey if you're an out you're an old guy yeah you go ahead go rock it you know have fun with it Intel fourth gear I'm telling you it's not bad um, for having only a top speed of 125, that, that's pretty much almost real, real world um, numbers um, when it comes to a, a Renault in, in real life, you know. I would think, you know, maybe it goes, you know, I don't think they would go faster than that. I don't know how fast a Renault goes in, in real life. Probably 155, let's be honest. Um, you know, minor restrictions and whatnot they, they probably are pretty fast well this one especially this one's a you know already a a race bred um car in some way um i do not know anything about uh those types of you know races this thing would be in um as we don't have uh renaults in this country uh they do not uh exist well I'm sure they exist, but they don't have like brand new ones in a dealership. They, we don't we don't have those. All right. I'm sure importing this from across the pond would be something. Um, and I don't know why anybody honestly might ever do that, unless you're an fan. That that's the only option I see. Um, for. For being what I have on there, that wasn't that bad. But I prefer my S1 class. I, I think the S1 class is better. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. And I'll catch you guys next time. Stay sideways, my friends.